Hello, my friends. I wanted to show my lights on my barn that are being ran completely on solar energy. There are four solar panels on the top of my barn that my husband installed for me and a one battery at this time. We plan on putting more batteries in, but at the moment we have one regular battery um, that is storing the energy it's getting from the solar panels during the day. This is December in Jackson, Tennessee, and <clears throat> we're having a lot of cloudy days, but my solar panels are still charging the batteries all the way up to 13 volts. Um, seen that once, and the majority of the time I'm getting 12.6 volts, which is plenty of energy. Um, in that is the lean to of the barn. There are three motion sensor lights, two on the side and one in the back. And then in the actual stall, we have three lights on the rafters. And as you can tell, it just lights it right up. There's no need for a flashlight in here at the moment. Um, when I turn the lights off, you can tell that it's very dark, so they are very efficient. They are LED lights, which don't take a lot of power, but are very, very bright. Um, this is our switches for the lights. When the light is off, it glows white, or it's actually a, a light inside there. So the light is white. Um, <clears throat> anywhere that Dream or Tag could have gotten to, my husband put this um, pipe so that they can't get a hold of any of the wires. I have an outlet with two plugs over here just in case, you know, I ever need to plug anything in. And <clears throat> over here you can see the pipe that is where the um, solar panels, the wire actually goes down and underneath Tag's little bed is where the batteries are stored and at the time I've been out here probably about 15-20 minutes with the lights on and it was at 12.6 when I got out here and now the volts are 12.0. Um, in here is a kill switch. The blue button that you see when I hit that it actually turns everything off as you can tell. So and then I mean you can already see the power going right back up into the battery. Um, and then if I hit it again the lights will come on and my husband has it where the, the red light comes on it means that something's wrong and he'll need to come out and um, see what's going on to fix it for me and the green light obviously means green go where everything's cool um, so that is the inside of here my husband put a cover on there so that we didn't have to worry about dreamer tag turning on the lights you know while we're gone bunch of party animals partying out here at night um, and in here we're gonna eventually close this off so you won't be able to see in there but at the moment it's just not completely done but um, you can see that's the battery it's just one little battery that is running the whole uh, kit and caboodle of lights out here and the other place that I have lights is in my tat slash storage room and I have two LED lights in there. I'll take you in there and show them to you. And here's Tag and his little holding pin. And there's Dream eating her food. I put Tag in here whenever Dream is eating because Tag gets his own food, but he is a vacuum. He sucks his food up faster than anything I can imagine. So we do that just to keep the peace. So here's my little light switch, as you can see. And I flip it on and it is wonderfully bright in here again and they're just two um they're not very big they're about three feet wide um led lights and they brighten the place up awesomely um so i want to thank my awesome wonderful husband for doing that um it's wonderful that it's solar panels 
because it's good for the environment and um, when you have your barn about, I don't know, 900 feet <laughs> from where your power is, instead of digging it all up and putting in posts and everything else, you can just throw some solar panels on the roof and voila, you've got power. Anyway, thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed it.